This is just going to be a quick rundown for anyone that wants to run these 12 volt LED lights off of a drill battery. I'm using these Nightlight um, LED headlights from Amazon. They're about $15 and I'm going to be running them off of a Ryobi battery. You can get these converters on Amazon as well. They're built by the Power Wheels modding community and they do them for basically any drill battery brand. So just make sure you get the one for your brand. Um, you're going to need a wiring harness. Reason why is they come with a switch, a relay, and a fuse so you don't burn out your lights or your battery. You're gonna need shrink wrap, and depending on the voltage of, or not shrink wrap, I'm sorry, you're gonna need heat shrink tubing, and depending on the voltage output of your battery, I'm using 18 volts. You're going to need a DC to DC converter. This one takes 24 volts and steps it down to 12, but it'll also work with an 18 volt and step it down to 12 volts. If you're using a 12 volt drill battery, which are a little bit rarer, you don't need this component. And this is also optional, is these waterproof connectors, just so it's easier to disassemble. I've already wired these lights to my bike, but I'm redoing it for this tutorial. So my wires are already clipped. Coming off of your fuse on your wiring harness, there's a positive and negative terminal. These, if you're using a 12 volt battery, are gonna go directly to your adapter. If you're not, these are going to go to the output of your DC to DC converter. And the positive and negative wire from your adapter are gonna go to the input of the DC to DC converter. At the other end of your wiring harness, there's going to be a set of two positive wires and two negative wires. These are what are going to get wired to our lights, to the positive and negative each light. You could do this directly, or again, you could get these waterproof connectors, any type you like, and use those so you could dismantle it. All right, so real quick, I'm going to show you how to put these connectors onto the wires. Um, the first thing you want to do is obviously splice the end of your wire, taking the rubber shielding off around the internal cables. You want to take a piece of shrink wrap that's a little bit bigger than the wire um, and put it on before you twist them together, or you're going to have to untwist them and do it again. I recommend doing this with a soldering iron, but if you don't have one, it's okay to twist it together. Your connections are just not going to be as great. So you're gonna take the two ends, interweave them into themselves, and then go ahead and twist them. Try to do this as tight as possible. Be careful, these wires are sharp. I've already pierced my thumb four times, like five times. After you have them twisted together, go ahead and slide your shrink wrap over the connection. And then take a lighter. Make sure you don't burn it, so keep the flame moving, and you'll see the shrink wrap shrinking. So now that you have your connection on the end of this, I already went ahead and added my connectors to my lights, to the positive and negative. And I went ahead and wired my harness. So I have a connector going into the input of my DC to DC converter, one to the output. The output is going to go to the fuse box of your wiring harness. And then on the other end, where there's the Y split, I have two connectors that go to my lights. And I'll go ahead and show you how this wires up real quick. So first we're gonna plug in our adapter for the battery to the input of our DC to DC converter. Plug that in. I'm going to go to the other side of my wiring harness. Sorry, it's so tangled. Feel free to cut these wires to whatever length you need them and reconnect them. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug in either side of my light to the Y splitter. Just like so. Make sure that your switch is off before you plug the battery in. Take your battery and put it into your adapter. And go ahead and flip your switch. Your light should work. That's it. 